Welcome back guys. Uh, in this video we are going to learn about functions. So what are functions? So uh, in programming in general, I'm not talking specifically about PHP. In programming, uh, there are certain uh, scenarios where you have to use a uh, same bit of coding time and again. Okay, let's say you are creating a program uh, which is kind of a mathematical application where you have to, you know, calculate uh, you have to take input from the users say two numbers like two three times and every time you take the numbers from the user you have to print out uh, a plus b ka whole square that is a square plus b square plus 2ab so you have to do it every time so now imagine uh, if you have to do this program you have to take inputs three times and you have to do it three times mm -hmm. imagine the pain that you have to uh, put in that uh, in writing that code okay this is fine even if you are doing it for three times but there are certain scenarios where uh, you have to do a similar style of coding a similar piece of coding time and again continuously so in these kind of scenarios uh, functions using functions is a good alternative so what are functions so functions are basically these uh, blocks of code which are reusable so you just write a piece of code inside a block a function and you just call it whenever it's necessary or uh, whenever it's required okay so basically uh, you created a function which requires two number and once the function gets those two numbers it calculates a plus b ka whole square okay once it calculates it returns the result to the program flow and now you have the number so you don't have to uh, write that formula time and again you have to calculate it again and again you just have to write a functional block which will be separate and whenever you require you just call the function so this is how a function works so let's go back to sublime so we are back in sublime Let's create a new file and save it as function demo.php. Let's add the PHP tags. Now, <clears throat> what we are doing is, uh, in our case, we are just going to print out, uh, say, a long piece of text three times. Let's go to lipsum.com and uh, Let's copy this text. Control C, Control V. Go to View, Word Wrap. And now, this is just for a demonstration purpose. So we are just copying it. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is repetitive code. Okay. This is repetitive code. Uh, it's a very simple scenario. Though you would say that I can just copy and paste time and again, but it decreases or reduces the code readability. Okay. So what you have to do is rather than printing it time and again what we can do is we can create a function so in php you create a function using the keyword function okay then you have to give a name to the function say in our case let's keep the name to be printer because it's printing out this large text next you have to add uh, two small brackets okay this is the syntax okay next is you have to open curly braces press enter and inside here you have to write whatever you want to write inside the function and what we want to do is we want to simply control v print out this particular thing whenever someone calls this function and now once we have created the function let's remove this piece of code okay so now this is how our program looks so basically we created the function by using the function keyword we provided a name uh, small brackets curly braces and inside there we wrote the code okay so now suppose we want to print it out for three times so what i'll do is i'll simply call the function like this one two and three okay so basically once the program flow starts from here it will not go inside this block okay because it's a function it will directly go to this point and over here it will say okay yeah so this particular program is asking for printer so where is this print function now it will scan to the top and over here it will find the printer function and once it find the printer function it will just get inside and print out whatever is written over there okay and it will do it thrice because we have called the printer function three times so this is what is called the declaration of the function this is called the definition of the function and this is called the calling of the function okay so let's save it let's go back and let's open localhost php demo the name of the file is function demo 
uh, if you're not able to see, uh, I made a mistake actually. I should have uh, used a br tag. So what we can do is just at the last we can add a br. In fact, two brs. Okay, so that we can get a clear, clear picture. Save it and let's reload. Now you can see we have uh, we are getting that uh, particular thing three times. Okay, so this is how you create a simple um, function. Okay, now let's create a function to add two numbers. So whenever we'll get two numbers from the user, we can just call this particular function that we are going to create and it will give me the uh, result by adding the two numbers. Okay, so now, uh, sorry, yeah. Now, uh, in the first function that we created, the printer function, it was without argument. So what are arguments? Arguments are basically inputs to the function on which the function processes the output. Okay, so in the printer function, we uh, were not in need of any inputs because we were just printing a text. But imagine a function like add. Now, this particular function will be able to uh, add two numbers only when it will have two numbers. So now what you have to do is you have to provide it with two arguments. These two variables are called arguments for these this function. Okay, so once you provide these two numbers while calling, then only it will be able to do this dollar result is equal to dollar num1 plus dollar num2 like this. Okay, so this num1 is this num1 and this num2 is this num2 and these num1 and num2 will be provided by you when you will call the add function. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, now. Uh, one more thing can be done is that we can echo out dollar result with a br tag like this. Okay, and now let's call the function add for the first time. Say I want to print out 123 and 34. Okay, so now the program will directly come to this line and it will say, Okay, yeah, okay, so this function. Uh, this particular program is asking for this function and it wants to provide 123 and 34 as input. Now it will search for the function and it is here. Now it will automatically allocate 123 to dollar num1 and 34 to dollar num2. And now it will get inside the function and it will calculate dollar result by adding these two numbers and eventually it will print out the result. What we can do is we can call it one more time 345.56 and one more time. 565.90. Okay, so we have called the same function three times. Let's save it and let's reload. And now you can see we have got three results. Okay, so this is how functions work. So the first function was fairly simple, it had no arguments. The second one has arguments. Okay, there is one more thing which is uh, important uh, that is uh, you can actually rather than printing out over here you can actually return the value back to the program flow like this and this basically means that the value of result will be sent back over here or over here from wherever it is called and now you can actually I'm just removing these two things you're actually storing it in a new variable okay so basically the value of dollar result will be saved to this so this particular line basically means okay add function I'm calling you and I'm providing you with these two numbers you have to calculate the sum and you have to return that and you have to store that in dollar sum and now if I just echo out dollar sum the output will be same let's save it and as you can see it's 157 okay so uh, we have learned about creating a simple function a function with arguments and a function with a return statement okay now uh, Let's create uh, a different kind of function uh, which has actually no arguments. Okay, and dollar num1 is equal to 23 and dollar num2 is equal to 45. Okay, so these are the two numbers, and this is what we have done. Uh, we are also removing the return statement instead we are just echoing out dollar result like this and now we are just calling the add method okay 
now as you can see we are using dollar num1 and num2 to calculate dollar result so if i'll do this what do you think the output should be it says undefined variable num2 and undefined variable num1 although num1 and num2 are present still it says i don't know what is num1 and num2 the reason is uh, this is a very important concept okay so uh, the concept is like this if you are using or creating any variables inside the function block they are local to the function okay and these variables are actually global okay so not a part of this particular function so if you want to use these variables over here what you have to do is you have to write global keyword and then the name of the variables that you want to use like this now once you define it global now your function will be able to use these variables okay so now if i'll save and reload it says the sum is 65 68 okay so this was a brief demo about functions uh, we'll do a lot more on it once we get into databases and uh, object oriented programming in php okay